Megan, you've had first-hand experience of this. Just tell us what happened to you. Okay, so in 2016, um, I was a victim of revenge porn. I had my photos and videos shared, um, I'd say, thousands of times. Um, I logged into my Facebook and I had 400 plus messages just calling me horrible names, slut shaming, telling me to kill myself. This resulted in a severe suicide attempt for me. To be honest, it was very, very, very difficult. Mm. And then I took some time out and a few months later, my photos were uploaded to like, they set up anonymous websites where they'll post a ton of girls' photos. So my photos were posted with a ton of other girls from Limerick and all over the country. So I reached out to as many girls as I could and just let them know, look, your images have been posted. I actually went into the guards with a few girls and I was told there was nothing that could be done. So since then, I was kind of working behind the scenes. I went off social media completely, but I was still working behind the scenes with victims. And to be honest, a good few of my friends were victims. And it just got to a point where I was constantly telling people, look, there's actually not much we can do, but still report it. But it's still, it's not considered, there's no law there, there's nothing that can be done as of yet. This was and something that the, the this was something yeah that the as I mentioned Brendan Howland from the uh, the Labour Party the former leader there that he first proposed making this a criminal offence back a number of years ago yeah. the um, the suggestion of revenge porn what is it that you want to see happen now Megan I think there definitely has to be some sort of law in place and protection um, there has to be support for victims available like mental health support and I think to be honest their kids are now na- navigating a whole new digital age. Um, in school, it's it's very much normalised to take photos like that. And I think there needs to be proper education, like sex education in this country in place surrounding navigating the digital age. Mm. Just, just interesting. Has to be done. Yeah, just just inter- interestingly, yesterday we heard how the HSE was encouraging people to um, yeah. effectively have, have online sex during the COVID pandemic. Just what's your view on that? I, I think it's completely irresponsible, if I'm going to be honest. Um, not when there's no education available on it. They put a. I went down to the chemist yesterday and I got a leaflet on it, and it just says like it suggests having internet sex, but there's that's going to lead to an increase in revenge porn cases. Some places in the world have already seen a 210 percent increase during lockdown. Okay. So it's going to cause a massive spike, and then there's no protection there for victims when it does happen. Okay. I just think it's kind of you're looking for a disaster there. All right. To be honest. Look, Megan, I know you've, you, told, you mentioned just at the outset there the impact all of this, you know, had on you at the time. Uh, just to, before we go, how, how are you doing now? Oh, I'm great. Yeah. I, I just want to use it to try and help as many people as possible. Okay. That's all it is for me. Yeah. You know, my story has already happened, but if I can prevent it from happening to anybody else, I think that's the most yeah. important thing. OK, well, good stuff. Megan, listen, thanks for joining us here on News Talk Breakfast this morning. And I, I should say as well, look, if you've been affected by this conversation or even hearing from Megan here on the programme this morning, you can contact the Samaritans 116 123.